Hey guys, it's Brett here again. I don't know how many of you remember last January when I fixed uh, one of my snow shovels that had a huge crack in it, but I just happened to have another snow shovel with a huge crack in it. You can see right there, it's kind of rusted and ugly. Well, I bought some knockoff Chinese fiber fix. And it comes with the gloves and the fiber fix, generic package, and some instructions. And as you can tell, it's really not branded, just kind of generic. I'm surprised they even spelled fiber fix correctly. So you got the steps, put the gloves on. Soak the fiber fix for 12 to 12 or 10 to 12 seconds. Squeeze the excess water out. Wrap your shovel and keep wrapping it. Then rub it, and then maximize performance. Use vinyl strips provided directly over the repair tape. Wait five minutes, and then remove. But for some reason, this Chinese version of fiber fix doesn't uh, include the uh, vinyl strips, so we're gonna have to make do. I've got some electrical tape standing by. They also didn't include the square of sandpaper, which I still have from the original fiber fix from last January, so we'll be using that. So in preparation, I'm gonna take this shovel apart. I think I'm gonna lift the camera up here a little bit. Yeah, you can see the bowl of water over there now. Okay. So what I'm going to do is grab my screwdriver, pull the bit out, and hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. Now what I'm doing is I'm unscrewing the original screw that holds the handle in place, which has obviously split and is broken. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the handle out, at least I'm going to try it. Oh, it's stuck in there pretty good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off a little bit of this vinyl covering that covers the steel handle just so that the fiber, the Chinese knockoff fiber fix has a place to seal to. Let's see if we can get this handle out of here. Oh yeah, boy. Ooh, that's pretty gnarly. That thing's been rusting pretty good down in there. Cut up here. Let's see if we can pull this over wrap off. It's got some nice. It's got some nice patina going on in there. Look at that nastiness. I'm gonna have to clean up my desk after this. Coolest razor knife ever. Hmm, this is kind of shiny. I'm just going to rough it up. Mainly up here because this is where the fiber fix is going to try and sit. Who knows if the fiber fix works it might even Seal up the shovel so no more water gets down in the thing to rust it even more. Yeah, I bought this knockoff stuff on uh, Wish.com. It's pretty cheap. It was like two rolls for five bucks or something and if you buy just one single roll of real fiber fix it's like six or seven bucks all right that's probably good enough I'm gonna have to clean my desk off after this Oh, that's leaving lots of nice, 
Not lots of nice crap on my desk. Oh well, that's what they invented. Uh, microfiber sponges, right? I bought a hundred of these suckers on eBay for four bucks. Well, I got the bowl of cold water, or warm water over here. Let's see how well these Chinese microfiber or uh, magic erasers work. Yeah. Doing a pretty good job. Yeah, I'm plugging two knockoff Chinese products in one video. Of course, as you can tell, my desk is just a, a mighty light table. That has been abused to death. Yeah, these magic erasers are awesome. Alright, now I need a, another paper towel to wipe that off. Yeah, I didn't get it quite. I could probably work on it a little more, but that'll have to that'll have to do for now. If you didn't watch this video to watch me clean. You watched knock off fiber fix. So <coughs> put the snow shovel back together here. Hopefully, line up the hole. Tell if that's lined up or not. One way to find out for sure, and that's to screw the screw back in. It's apparently not lined up the hole. Oh, I didn't even have it nearly far enough in. Alright. Try that again. Oh, there we go. Okay, now I'm not going to screw it in all the way because I'm going to get a zip tie. And I'm going to zip tie this thing together just to hold it in place while I'm doing the fiber fix. Yeah, that is a pair of lineman scissors. Those things are wicked sharp. Alright, so as you can see, maybe, the crack is pulled together by the zip tie. So now it's time to break out the fiber fix. Now let's put my screwdriver away. Put the supplied gloves on. That is a thumb hole, not a finger hole. Alright. Yeah, I think these gloves might be a little uh, larger than the ones that came with the genuine fiber fix last time. Last time they were black. You can look up the video on my YouTube channel or on uh, Facebook if you are super bored. All right, here we go. It's got a nice little notch here. And here is the gooey, sticky roll of fiber fix. Throw that in the trash and put this in the water for 10 to 12 seconds. Has it been 12 to 10 seconds already? I don't know. And then we'll throw the, the package away. I love how the package says fiber fix. Because <laughs> it's not really fiber fix. Oh, that's ready to go. That feels about as gooey as the original fiber fix that I had. I gotta find the end. There it is. Alright, so according to the thing, start wrapping it over the brake. First wrap is kind of loose. And then as you go along, I think I'm just gonna rotate the shovel rather than try and get the roll of fiber fix around it. I don't know. I don't think this stuff is as good as the genuine fiber fix. 
but we'll find out soon. Doesn't doesn't feel doesn't feel as high quality. You're supposed to wrap it like three or four inches beyond the brake. Um, get that there. Pull that up. Stretch it around. I want to make sure it's nice and tight like unto a dish. Like some kind of wooden agent submarine. Stuff is sticky. At least it doesn't smell it like anything. That's kind of nice. Kind of folded it over in one spot there a little bit. All right, and there's the end of the roll. Wrap that around as tight as I can. That is gooey as gooey. All right. Oh, it says to massage it. You gotta, you gotta rub it in. So now comes the part where you're supposed to put the vinyl tape on, which they didn't include any vinyl tape. So I am going to use my own electrical tape. Yeah, that, that worked out about as well as I thought it would. Oh, and this just helps it. It's like a compression fitting. This helps it stick on there better. stuck on the faux fiber fix there. This stuff is supposed to stop leaks and pipes and all kinds of fun stuff. Fix your fishing rod if you broke it. Don't throw it away, fiber fix it. Okay, well, there we go. Now we gotta wait for a while. It says wait five minutes, then remove. I believe on the actual fiber fix it said to wait 10 to 15 minutes to remove. So, rather than bore you to death, I'm going to pause the video and we will come back in 15 minutes and take off this tape and see if it worked. So I found the fiber fix order. It was only four bucks for a pack of two, so not too bad, I guess. Anyway, still got another 10 minutes left on the shovel. We'll tune back in in a little while. All right, it's been 15 minutes. Let's unwrap this present and see what we've got. Ooh, it feels pretty hard from the outside. Well, that is like a rock. Holy cow. Get tangled up here. Now you can see some of the, the paper from where it stuck to my gloves. Well, there we go. You see that? Crap is hard as steel. 
that thing ain't going anywhere. I can't even, I can't even twist it at all. Holy mackerel. Unless you've got more paper on it. I assume that'll just wear off after a while. Anyway, that's how you fix a snow shovel with Chinese knockoff $2 from Wish.com fiber fix. But you have to include some extras because they don't include the sandpaper or the vinyl strips. But I think that's not a bad deal. Anyway, we'll have to... Uh, my other snow shovel that I fixed last January is still going strong. So, anyway, looks like the Chinese knockoff stuff works pretty darn good. Anyway, we'll catch you next time on Brett's Workbench.